Exponential growth is exactly what it sounds like, the growth of a population that gets greater and greater with each generation. The best way to illustrate this is with a graph. So we'll start off with the independent variable being time along the x-axis and the population size as a dependent variable on the y-axis. That means as time goes on, the number of organisms we have in the population will increase. The population starts with only a few organisms, but then they multiply over the course of many generations, and now the graph looks something like this. So that's the exponential growth model. There are unlimited resources, no competition, and no apparent predators. But of course, in the real world, there's not always unlimited resources, and hardly ever do we see a utopia like the one I just described. Because of the limited resources and competition, populations must reach what is called a carrion capacity. The carrion capacity is the limit to the population that the environment can withstand. On the graph, I'll draw a line here that represents the carrion capacity. Some places also symbolize the carrion capacity with the letter K, so I'll write that in parentheses here. Now we have to fix the graph. Of course, the population isn't going to perfectly stop at the carrying capacity, it can go a little bit over. Then after a while, when the population has too much competition and not enough resources, it will dip down a little under the carrying capacity. It could go on like this forever unless something drastic happens, like if a flood wipes out the majority of the population. Alright, that's basically it for the exponential growth model. Thanks for watching and don't forget to comment any questions that you might have.